Hello, we're Blood Red Hourglass. I'm Jarkko Hyvönen playing the drums. I'm Lauri, I play guitar. And I'm Jaradi, I do the vocals. Uh, really good actually. Um, we have a fresh day, so we have a day full of interviews, which is really nice. And uh, so far, so good. Looking forward to it. And definitely this will be maybe the biggest uh, album or the release that we have had so far including the biggest uh, tour here in Finland during the autumn so definitely there's a lot of things to look forward to during the autumn we've been doing the collaboration so far approximately one year yeah. there have been lots of uh, good things already but maybe the best things hopefully will be upcoming in the near future as well. Yeah, and this is also um, kind of second album we are doing with uh, Out of Line music and uh, we had uh, we have had them on board before till down they count and uh, uh, first one was uh, the previous one was first with them so I think uh, now we got all set and uh, we've known each other for a bit longer with Out of Line so I think um, this will be good this release. I think in a way it turned out to become some sort of a Your Highness 2.0 in in many ways and terms. Um, I'm not sure if that was the purpose, but I mean Your Highness was a was a diverse record, and of course we wanted to you know broaden the spectrum even further on all ends, and I think we succeeded very well. So yeah, there there is a connection definitely, if you ask me. Yeah, and. Uh I can agree, and I think uh, with uh, with Your Highness, we kind of created the process that uh, we did on writing with this one too. So, with Your Highness, we were kind of learning and uh, throwing ideas together and uh, uh, seeing like uh, what comes out. And uh, now we kind of knew better maybe what we were about to do and how we kind of do it. Mm. Although we don't like have any restrictions when it comes to songwriting that uh, you're not allowed to do that or you should do <laughs> that. Yeah. Definitely, just like you said as well, here in House of the Heart, we have kind of, and like Jaredi said as well, widen the spectrum. There are lots of new things, but of course we are not forgetting our roots. We are still metal band, <laughs> even though we are kind of throwing ideas and, uh, and uh, even stealing some ideas from other genres as well. Yeah. Uh, stealing? <laughs> what did you steal? <laughs> Let's uh, keep <laughs> that topic uh, <laughs> still up, but yeah. Yeah, there's, um, well, I don't know, like, uh, did we do, like, a new things when it comes to actually playing guitar, but when it comes to, like, writing music, I think, as I said, we were kind of learning new ways when we wrote Your Highness, and uh, when it comes to, like, uh, let's say, keyboards and synths, uh, I think uh, we are now way better doing them and, and creating those layers than we were back then. It was kind of you know, just learning and mm -hmm. now we maybe had a, some idea of, of how, how should we do it. Yeah, I was just thinking that from drumming point of view, maybe it was a bit different this time when I went to the studio, I didn't have that clear plan in my mind what I'm going to play. So the point was that actually lots of uh, those things that you can here on the record are created in that situation when mm -hmm. I've been recording those. So a lot more intuition, a lot more kind of uh, getting the inspiration from the moment and uh, trying to trying to catch that. Yeah, and I, I think also another thing is that uh, it's not like a playing certain thing on guitar, but I, maybe it's more like a what you don't have to play. So mm -hmm. as you can hear, we don't have like a the standard regular lead guitar on every yeah. every chorus uh, we would just like uh, we could have been counting on vocals and just leave room with them and maybe bring lead guitar back in like the last verse or something like that so that's kind of I think maybe you could say that's also learning or then it's just becoming all done lazy but yeah. <laughs> that for a band with three guitars <laughs> yeah. but it's like giving the room for the song mm. actually that is yeah. a kind of a skill as well not putting that much stuff to every single second of the song yeah. but uh, giving room giving air to breathe and uh, definitely just like you said 
I think vocals play a bigger role this time than ever before. Yeah, and b- but when it comes to guitar, it's so actually with this album, it's the first time we have. Uh, it's the first time we have uh, like two guys playing guitar solos. Yeah, with Your Highness Johnny played all, all the solos, and now there's uh, Aero playing as well, mm-hmm. and uh, he's extremely talented too with guitar. So mm-hmm. why are you not playing any solos? I'm not that talented. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. Uh, so <laughs> maybe, in the, maybe the future. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think you know. I can be honest about it, you know, there's like a, uh, no way I could play a school solos like let's mm-hmm. say Yoni plays, just no way, way for me, so yeah, why don't you give room for those guys who can do it, I can take care of like backing vocals or something if I need to <laughs> <laughs> step up in the game. <laughs> yeah, it pretty much is, I mean, it's maybe not necessarily the song order that you have in the record and it would go through, the, through that thing, but that's what it turned out to become about. Um, yeah, uh, it's a personal record. What can I tell? Heartbreak. It's heartbreak. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's what it's all about. And uh, yeah, I, I've. I think uh, stage of grief is a uh, is a good term to describe the, yeah. the album. Uh, it's uh, mostly written by Ero, and uh, I think you can really hear his roots uh, with the old school death metal and uh, and uh, maybe a bit of technical death metal there, and uh, it's. In a way, it's kind of the harshest song. It's like the harshest riffs uh, so far we've done, and uh, I really like also like the the tempo change. Mm-hmm. It kind of yeah really underlines the uh, sinister mood and, and tone the song ha- like has in overall. Yeah. yeah, that must be like I think a pretty cool song to play live as well. Let's see if we Let's can play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it that difficult? Yeah. I don't know. Is it that difficult? But definitely, it has some some parts that uh, need to be played really, really sharp to mm-hmm. kind of create the great feeling of it. But yeah. Yeah, let's see. We haven't played it together since before studio, yeah. so yeah. now we're yeah. about to get training in the next coming weeks. So let's yeah. see how it goes. Well, you mentioned earlier that you were a bit more intuitive and <laughs> wrote the drum parts during recording sessions and so on. Is that also more difficult for you to, you know, remember what you, you played later on for <laughs> yes, <different definitely>. <laughs> yes. And I, I, I think that there might be lots of parts uh, that I have uh, recorded to the album that uh, I will not be playing exactly the same way <laughs> live, but let's see how it turns out. Yeah. But yeah, just like I said, uh, this time I didn't think about that much what I'm going to play. And you can hear it as well. Yeah, you're right about that. that we, we put some effort to you know creating kind of the drama and flow for the album. And uh, uh, I think quite early on uh, we kind of had like the basic idea like the like a key track when it comes to album flow so we have the opening, uh, track. opening track and a uh, long song in the middle we didn't that usually I think many bands do that they put the long song as like an ending song but we wanted like uh, slow the pace a bit down so we put it in the middle and then we knew that how's the heart gonna be the ending song and then we had recorded 13 songs so we had to decide like uh, which three gonna be uh, bonus songs and uh, how's the album gonna turn out overall and uh, yeah we put a lot of effort into that that was a question I was asked many times by someone special to me and I wanted to make that question something special pass it forward because I think it's a great question we should ask that a lot more from our closest ones especially and the guys liked the the idea as well and uh, it turned out to become first the title for the track and from there eventually turn out to become for the first time actually it's a song title as well that is an album mm-hmm. name yeah. for us yeah. well it's different for sure yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> it's, it's different and uh, I think it still has has maybe the most positive overall vibe out of all the songs on the record and we wanted to finish this album with a high note yeah. because it's after all pretty dark uh, record and yeah, I wanted to think a bit outside of the box and uh, leave something like that to be the last one in the record. Yeah. Well, I think the main driver behind all these crazy thoughts is that uh, we don't want to do 
things like uh, the things are always done in metal music. So bringing in flowers or or butterflies, sing, or, <laughs> yeah, or singing about butterflies or stuff like that, it kind of uh, creates a contrast that is maybe not that often used in in metal music. Yeah, I think, and uh, as a, like a group, I think we are like very open to when it comes to different ideas. It can be songwriting, and it can be lyrics or whatever, and what video ideas or whatever, visuals, and, uh, and nothing gets like shut down immediately unless it's <laughs> something really bad. And uh, yeah, but in, in overall, the group is for, like really open to different ideas, and uh, and I think that's uh, one of our strengths. We handle the merch completely by ourselves, and uh, we've had our own web store since the beginning of the band, and. Uh, we put a lot of effort into that. Yeah, and definitely, as an answer to the question, we think about these things a lot. Yeah. And of course, we have those original Bladder Hourglass merch uh, items. We still have uh, that old school logo mm. in different various uh, designs, but uh, still, we want to create all the time something new. And it also keeps the thing fresh, I think. Yeah. Not and always it goes like uh, straight to the to the target, but uh, most of the time, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think we have a privilege to work with very talented people, and uh, usually uh, all of the ideas are from us. But uh, then it comes to, like, let's say Koivurin who has done lots of uh, graphics for us. Uh, we give him some ideas and thoughts, and uh, then he kind of creates something, and uh, mm. and from that we start working and. Uh, create the final product. Definitely it will be bigger, better, faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, yes, this is the third time that we are organizing the festival and uh, every year it has gone bigger and uh, we are learning doing things better and uh, this year I definitely think that we have the best lineup so far and uh, we wish that uh, people outside Mikkeli come as well and uh, feel the experience of Black Box Mikkeli. Yeah, and also I think uh, uh, we've gotten good feedback from the arrangement and, and the overall uh, concept and uh, that's something we've been working to make better also as the years go by. So I think I can say confidently that this lineup is the best um, we've had in Blackbox Mikkeli and as an overall experience it will be the best so far. Yes. Yeah, and I guess it's, it's two days now as well, so yeah. do you yeah. for the future see the festival growing even more? Hopefully, bigger and better bands all the time and uh, basically the venue where we are organizing this or the place, Saima Stadiumi, there is, there is a limit but uh, we haven't reached yet uh, when you consider the capacity mm -hmm. of, the, of the whole Black Box Mikkeli, so yeah. it can be bigger in the future. This was actually kind of made, it's, it's a painting by Nora Kempi. She also painted uh, in Little Flower single cover art and uh, she did that and then we just, I did some digital like mm. post processing of the image, colors and stuff. And yeah, we, we were kind of thinking that what, what should we, could we include to the cover of art? And since the question is how's the heart, well, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> looks like this so uh, that was actually pretty simple but yeah but that's how it usually goes with the with the art with us I think uh, we have some idea and uh, we throw it to some professional and more talented people more talented <laughs> yeah, people exactly. yeah. but that's how you should do it I think you should surround yourself with with uh, people that are more talented than you yeah, yeah. That's Which makes I'm me wonder why I'm sitting <laughs> 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 I was gonna yeah. ask that but <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah. They say that you're the average of the five people you spend the time, the most of your time. Okay. So oh I, s God. I still have no clue what the <laughs> fuck am I doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Plans and uh, work is on at the moment, and hopefully we will be there as soon as possible. Yeah. If everything goes like uh, everything goes in the movies, maybe in the beginning of uh, next year. And uh, so far, there have been lots of talks concerning different festivals as well. So yes, 
the market for us is definitely outside Finland as well. Yeah, hope to see you at Black Box Mikkeli or any other show. Support. Stream the record. <laughs> <laughs>